I recognize. Um, but just to give you a little bit of an idea of what I do, I'm a marine specialty agent. I represent 20 different companies nationally. I'm licensed in 48 states. And what I really do with my clients is I give them what I call a formal education on how marine insurance works and why you don't buy boat insurance from somebody who sells farm insurance. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, a lot of the guys that are in this room I have insured. Once I don't have insured, I'm going to, I'm pointing at you. <laughs> but when you go to a standard property and casualty insurance company, and I'll use Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau is a wonderful company if you have a home or an auto. Farm Bureau is not a wonderful company if you buy a water. They sell traditional actual cash value policies. And how an actual cash value policy works, and it works exactly the same way as your truck. You buy a new truck today for 60 grand and total it out a year from now, you know as well as I do, you're gonna be lucky to see 50. Okay, with automobiles, that's not a big deal because we only finance them for four or five years. These guys are financing boats now for 10 or 15 years. So if they've got an ACB contract, two years into that contract, they're 15 grand upside down if they have a total loss. So we write nothing but agreed value policy forms. And basically what I do is I take a bunch of information from you. I get a feel for how you use your boat. We're gonna talk about electronics. We're gonna talk about rods, reels, and tackle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna design the coverages specifically to what you need. You don't need $10,000 in fishing equipment. You need $10,000 in fishing equipment. Okay, so these, co these coverages are all kind of designed by somebody who does what you do. You know, it's really that simple. Um, we do about 2,500 new pieces of business a year. If you go to Walleye Central, Bass Boat Central, Ohio Game and Fish, Texas Fishing Forums, Muskie First, Walleye First, all of them forums, I created an educational forum many, many years ago. And it's important to understand the kind of coverages that you have. Does anybody have any questions? Go ahead. I got a scenario of a friend. This might play in to kind of promote the difference between your insurance and regular insurance. Um, he's a guy who uses his boat as a charter service. And uh, just last week, he was backing into the driveway. A lady came down the road, ran into the side of his boat. I have him insured. <laughs> so his concern is now they're telling him, for his boat to be fixed, it probably needs to go back to the manufacturer. He doesn't know how long he's going to get his boat back. He's a guy. He needs his boat to make a living. At the other end, he was worried about what's my boat worth. I can't afford to go out. You know, boat like a 2005. Can't afford to go out and buy a brand new boat. Yeah. You know, so he well, by you, he knows he has that. Yeah. I mean, his boat's completely out. and totally covered on an agreed value basis. His car insurance, your auto insurance, your homeowner's insurance has absolutely nothing to do with it. I've talked to thousands of people that have said, and I quote, I just talked to my insurance agent and he told me that as long as I'm pulling my boat with my truck, it's automatically covered. If an insurance ever, agent ever says that to you, throw his card away and never call him again. Because that's not the way that it works. So that particular guy, she wasn't ticketed, which she should have been. So it's going to be interesting to see what transpires with that because the end, and that insult to injury, they didn't check her cell phone, they didn't check her for alcohol, and he knows she was texting. I mean, he knows it for a fact, because how could you not see him for 300 yards? I, I know where he lives, and you can see from each direction of the driveway. She had plenty of time to stop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous that she wasn't short of time. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the most important thing to understand is, you know, if you went to the Barrett Jackson auction and spent 100 grand on a classic car, are you gonna go home and call somebody to sell life insurance? No. If you spent $50,000 on an airplane, you're going to call somebody who sells car insurance? No. And why anybody would buy a boat and call somebody who sells home insurance? I have no idea. And the biggest problem is that they have limited markets available to them. Like if you go to Farm Bureau, you're going to get a Farm Bureau quote. You're not going to go to somebody that's got 20 different companies that we can remarket your boat with. So it's just a whole different environment. Um, you know, you owe it to yourself to call me. If I don't have you insured, call me. I'm going to tell you point blank. I'm going to take a bunch of information from you. I'm going to get a feel for how you use your boat. If you call me back, you're going to get educated. If you don't call me back, you won't hear a word from me. Okay. I don't want people thinking that I'm trying to bug them, but if you really want to understand how marine insurance works and why you don't go to somebody that sells car insurance, you need to call us. Any more questions? Ross, you're quiet. 
All right, guys, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah.